Under a wind-whipped flag flying at half-staff, members of Congress and their aides filled the steps in front of the House of Representatives for a moment of silence after the attempted assassination of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. On another set of Capitol steps, a growing floral tribute. Throughout the halls here, staffers and lawmakers are still grappling with an attack on one of their own. Stunned. We are angry. We can't believe that uh, people would go to that extreme. The shooting has prompted congressional officials to schedule a special briefing to review security issues. They know their community. They know the event. Uh, they know the issues. And if they feel uncomfortable, if the hair in the back of their neck stands up, they need to work with us and local law enforcement as to how to minimize uh, the concerns they have. Many lawmakers say they will be more careful, but want to make sure that they can talk directly with the public. We expect to and will continue to be out and about with our constituents. We do not want this incident to make it harder for us to engage with constituents or for them to be able to, uh, to talk to us. Others who've received death threats say they'd like more security. In addition to the special security recommendations that lawmakers will get later this week, the House will consider a resolution honoring Congresswoman Giffords and the other shooting victims. Jerry Bodlander at the Associated Press, Capitol Hill.